Hello everyone, welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. And breaking news, Rassi Erasmus has officially been banned by World Rugby as they found him guilty on six charges of um, misconduct. And he's been banned from all rugby, which includes coaching in anything, any sort of formal capacity for two months and has been banned from match day activity until September 22, 2022, um, which marks a 10-month ban. Um, which is massive, massive news. Before we break it down, please do smash a like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. So we've been talking about the fact that there hasn't been a verdict for so long and to have waited for this long for this verdict and then this verdict, it is an absolute joke from World Rugby. It really is. Not so much the verdict, but when you think of the ramifications as a result of it, because of and, and and because of how long they've taken on it, what it now actually means for the Springboks itself. Um, so first of all, let's go through the charges and what they are, and then we'll sort of break down the what what it actually means for the Springboks. So he has been charged with the following charges: he is found guilty of threatening a match official that unless requested meeting took place, he would publish footage containing clips criticizing the match official's performance and then making good on that threat. So first of all, they have found him guilty of himself actually leaking the video, given the fact that they said making good on that threat. Attacked, disparaged, and or denigrated the game and officials. Basically said he's brought the entire game into disrepute and he's attacked the game and its officials. Number three, did not accept or observe the authority and decisions of match officials. So by questioning their decisions, he is then guilty of not observing the authority they have to make those decisions. That's what he's been guilty of. Published or caused to be published criticism of the manner in which a match official handled a match. So there, not necessarily saying that um, even that. I mean, how can you sit there saying published or caused to be published? Which one? Which one? Are you saying he's found guilty or published? Or is he found guilty or caused to publish? But basically, I mean, that says at the moment that he, they, they're not finding him guilty of publishing, although in the first um, charge, I think they pretty much have. Uh, but then saying that, that he's basically engineered the publishing of criticism of the manner in which the match officials handled the match. Number five, engaged in conduct or activity that may impair public confidence and integrity and good character of match officials. Basically, by him you know, releasing the video now, people won't respect the referee's decisions because he's compromised the, the public confidence. So we no longer feel confident in the referees because of that video. Um, which they definitely don't, to be fair, uh, brought the game into disrepute when he published or caused to be published the Erasmus video. First of all, have a backbone, World Rugby. Don't come here with published or caused to be published. Which one did he do? Come out and take a stand. Do not sit there and say, yeah, he kind of probably engineered, made sure it would be published. Come out and sit there saying, we have found him guilty of publishing the video. Or we are saying cause. Don't come here with this. Or how can you be ambiguous in what you found somebody guilty of? Which in itself, I think, really frustrates me. Um, second of all, did not accept or reserve the authority and decision of match fields. Now, I, I, I don't like that. I really don't like that. Because that in itself means that you can't question the referees, basically. That basically means that you... So that in itself has got actually nothing to do with the video. That charge for me is the biggest one. Because... As well as number two, because that's got nothing to do with the video. They're basically saying that you dare to attack the officials and you did not observe, you did not respect their authority, you did not respect them by creating this video. Not the releasing the video, but the video itself, which is frustrating because you are allowed to send clips. You are allowed to give referee feedback. But basically they said that in, in the way he did it, that he did not respect their authority. So I, I, I don't like that one because I think that is... Basically saying that you can't question the officials. They are unquestionable. You have to respect the authority. Um, you know, I think with the video, if he's guilty of leaking it, number one, um, I mean, I, I mean <laughs> threatened a match official that unless a requested meeting took place, he would publish footage containing clips criticizing the match official's performance and then make a good threat on that. I mean, that's just what he's done. I mean, how is that? How are you, how are you found guilty of an offense which literally does not exist in the rule book? You're telling me that in the, the, the World Rugby Handbook, it says that rule number six, you may not threaten an official and say that if he doesn't have a meeting with you, you will publish clips. There's definitely not that. So that's also a bit of a strange one because that's basically just a summary of what happened. That's not going against a specific law. That's just saying what he did. 
So not entirely how you can be guilty on a charge which doesn't technically exist. The other ones are charges, you know, attacked, disparaged, and or denigrated the game and officials. That is a charge. You are guilty of doing that. That is in the rule book. You say, it says you can't do it, and he did that. Um, um, and then both. So, so number one, I think. I mean, I think it's a bit of a stupid charge to find guilty of because the charge itself doesn't really exist. Number two, um, you can argue that he maybe did. Um, so that could potentially uh, stand if you if you want. Three, he did not accept the reserve authority and the decision of match officials. Um, I mean, you're questioning it afterwards, so you could probably justify that. But at the same time, you're not doing it at the time, so I think it's a bit frustrating. Um, and then number four, publish or cause to be published criticism of the manner in which the match official handled the match um, and brought the game into dispute. I mean, it's the same flipping charge, isn't it? It's literally the same charge. It's you made this video. I mean, how can you sit there saying that you published a video that criticized the match officials? We're also charging you for publishing a video for bringing the game into dispute. It's the same video. It's the same charge. Um, but obviously, you have to build a case because if you build six charges, then you can suddenly um, you know, hand out the punishment. So the punishment is... Um, and and sorry has also been been handed down to uh, two um, charges as well. So Rusty has been banned from all rugby, which means coaching, media. You can't even go and watch a Curry Cup match, as far as I understand, for two months. Okay, which will begin immediately, which means he will not be available this weekend. Um, so in November he'll be back in his director of role rugby by February. But <clears throat> he has been banned from match day activity for 10 months, which means that he will not be a part of the Springbok coaching staff on match day until September 2022. And this is what then pisses me off because had this happened in August when it should have, we would be August, September, October, November, December. We would be almost halfway through the appeal and by the time we started next year's season it would already be there whereas now he is banned for half the international season because of the sheer incompetence of world rugby um sa rugby has also been fined twenty thousand pounds um which i reckon that crowdfund they'll probably raise to be honest so that's the situation that's the verdict that's what's happened um we don't really have much time unfortunately to to sort of break it down so we will be doing it going live and, and breaking it down tomorrow they do have the right of appeal so you wait to see if sa rugby will appeal it um, but yeah, please do smash like on the video. Let me know what you think. Is it a harsh punishment? Is it not? Is it justified? We'll break it down a little bit more um, when we have a bit more time, uh, hopefully tomorrow on a live show. But before then, my name is Steven. Thank you very much for watching and I'll chat to you soon.